A good morning. It's science time again. Science time again. It's science time again. Oh, come and join us. It's science time again. It's science time again. It's science time again. Oh, come and join the class, it's science time again. Learning science be easy. Come on, let's go and learn science. Before we proceed to our lesson, here are the things you need to prepare. Pen and pencils, papers, and the copy of your self-learning modules or learning activity sheets. Let's go and learn science! A good morning, kids! Learning science means easy. Just for you. Let me help you. Ako ang magiging teacher mo today. I am Mom Jeka. Are you ready? Our lesson for today is life processes. It includes ingestion, digestion, absorption, assimilation, and excretion. The most essential learning competency that we need to discuss today is explain ingestion, absorption, assimilation, and excretion. After discussing the lesson, you are expected to 1. Explain ingestion, absorption, assimilation, and excretion. 2. Explain the action of enzymes as catalysts and how it helps the digestion. And 3. Practice moderation, especially in intake of food and drinks. Let us test your knowledge. And scramble the letters in the box to identify the word or words being asked in each statement. Number 1. Which life process is done the moment you put food in your mouth? What is the answer? Correct! Digestion! Is the life process done the moment you put food in your mouth? Number two. They are the catalysts which speed up the breakdown of complex food into simple and soluble products. Very good. Enzymes are the catalysts which speed up the breakdown of complex food into simple and soluble products. Number 3. Which digestive organ is the site for most and final chemical digestive process? Excellent! Small intestine is the answer. It is the digestive organ which is the site for most and final chemical digestive process. Number 4. Which digestive organ is involved in removing undigested food out of the body? What is your answer? Nice! Excretion is the digestive organ which is involved in removing undigested food out of our body. Number 5. The movement of digested food molecules into the cells of the body where they are used. You can do it! Very good! Assimilation is the movement of digested food molecules into the cells of the body where they are used. 
Let us have a recap. Take a look on the following pictures. Can you guess what part of the body had they used for feeding? You got it! Some animals have mouth and teeth. Others have beak. For snail, they have their radula. Their food varies depending on the kind of animals, whether they are considered as herbivores, carnivores, or omnivores. Let us study. If there's one thing everyone loves doing, that's getting and eating food. Diba lahat naman tayo, we love eating. So, kilala nyo naman siguro yung mga yan. Nakita nyo nga siguro sila. Sa so, pag-browse natin sa Facebook o di kaya naman sa YouTube, makikita natin yung mga content creator na yan, which is more on what we call mukbang. How important are the food? What are the things we need to consider in buying and preparing our food? Does it follow that expensive food contains more nutrients than less expensive one? What will happen to the food once we put it in our mouth? How can we get the needed nutrients from the food we eat? We will answer these questions as we go further in our discussion. First, we will describe the basic important activities performed by organisms for maintenance and survival, otherwise known as life processes. Here is an illustration. Remember also that our body is made up of various organ systems specifically designed in maintaining these life processes. Life processes involves nutrition, metabolism, growth, reproduction, sensitivity, respiration, movement, and excretion. What are the basic concepts we need to know and understand about ingestion, digestion, absorption, assimilation, and excretion. Ingestion is the process of putting something in our mouth. Under normal condition, we use our hands to put something like food, drink, medicine, and other substances in our mouth. There are cases where droplets and viruses may enter our body through our mouth. That's why Wearing a face mask and face shield during COVID-19 pandemic are required. Why? First, as our personal protection. Second, to prevent the spread of viruses and other microorganisms to other people. Digestion is the mechanical and chemical breakdown of food into small organic fragments. Mechanical digestion refers to the physical breakdown of large pieces of food into smaller pieces which can subsequently be accessed by digestive enzymes. While in chemical digestion, enzymes break down food into the small molecules the body can use. The details of how the process occurs and the organs involved will be discussed in the next module. Absorption. The simple product of digestion is small enough to be absorbed by the epithelial cells of the intestinal villi. Each day, the alimentary canal processes up to 10 liters of food, liquids, and the GI secretions. Yet, less than 1 liter enters the large intestine. Small, almost all ingested food, 80% of electrolytes and 90% of water are absorbed in the small intestine. Although the entire small intestine is, is involved in the absorption of water and liquids, most absorption and carbohydrates and proteins occurs in the jejunum. 
the small intestine is highly efficient at this. Absorbing monosaccharides at an estimated rate of 120 grams per hour. Notably, bile salts and vitamin B12 are absorbed in the terminal ileum. Assimilation is the movement of digested food molecules into the cells of the body where they are used. The liver is most important in assimilation. For example, glucose is used in, as in respiration to provide energy and amino acids are used to build new proteins. Excretion by the time chyme passes from the ileum into the large intestine, it is essentially in digestible food residue, mainly plant fibers like cellulose, some water, and millions of bacteria. The colon is the first part of the large intestine. It absorbs most of the remaining water. This leaves semi-solid waste material called feces. The feces are stored in the rectum, the last part of the large intestine. Excretion happens when these feces pass out of the body through the anus. And this is, in other words, what we call pooping. Yes, my dear students. This is the last life process. The excretion. We're in wherein we release all the indigestible food residue we get from the food we eat. What is the role of digestive enzymes in the digestive process? Enzymes are organic catalysts, meaning they initiate or speed up chemical reactions. They work well in temperature ranging from 300 to 400 degrees Celsius. Raw diets such as vegetable salads, fruits, nuts, vegetables, and fruit juices are rich in enzymes that hasten the chemical breakdown of food. Digestive enzymes are classified based on the substrate they work on. Table 1 gives us the summary of the specific enzymes which will act on specific food molecule and break down the simple, soluble, and product. First column will be the food molecule. Second column would serve as the enzyme that will act on the food molecule and the third column will serve as the end product of the food molecule inside our body. First one, carbohydrate. Carbohydrate is the enzyme that will act on carbohydrate when it enters our body. When carbohydrate enters our body, it becomes simple sugar. Proteins become amino acid when proteins or peptide act as catalysts. Fatty acid and glycerol were made up of lipids or fats. Its catalyst is lipase. And nucleic acid when catalyzed by nuclease become nucleotide. Samples of end products of the given enzymes are the following. Carbohydrates can be found in the food rich in carbohydrates. Amino acids can be found in foods that are rich in protein. Fatty acid can be found in omega-3 rich foods. And nucleotides are foods that boost the immune system. Did you learn something today? Sabi ko sa iyo eh. Learning science is easy. Start answering your activities on your SLMs or less. Good luck and always stay safe. See you next time. Bye!